Welcome to the presentation on level four subtraction. Let's get started with some problems. So the first problem I have here is 33,220 minus 399. So just like we did with, I believe that we also did borrowing in the level three subtraction, we have to go through all of the digits in the top number, starting with the top right digit, and make sure that they are larger than the digit below it. Because you can only subtract a, 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 a smaller number from a larger number. You can't do it the other way, until uh, at least until we learn negative numbers. So let's go through this and check, make sure all the top numbers are larger. Well, immediately we see, no, well, this 0 is not l larger than 9. So we have to borrow to make the 0 bigger. So what we do is we borrow. Uh, one. Well, some people say we're borrowing a one. Some people will say, I mean, borrowing a one from the tens place is really like borrowing a ten. So, for for simplicity, let's just say we're borrowing a one. So you borrow one from this two, and this ten. This ten will become a, a zero. Sorry, will become a ten. And since we borrow that one, this two will become a one. Right? We took one away from this two, and we gave it to the zero to make ten. We actually took 10 away from this 2, because this 2 is in the tenth place. I don't want to confuse you too much. Just If just the mechanics of it are, we took 1 away from the 2, and we put it in front of the 0 to make 10. Now let's keep checking. So now we have a 1 in this place. 1 is smaller than 9, so we have to borrow again. So we borrow 1 from this 2 now. So this 2 now becomes 1. And this 1 will now become an 11. So now we have a 10 is larger than a 9. 11 is larger than a 9. 1 is not larger than 3. So we have to borrow again. This, this is a good problem. It's, uh, uh, maybe I should have warmed y'all up a little bit more, but it involves a lot of borrowing. So in order to borrow, we do the same thing over again. This 1 will become an 11. And it's going to borrow from this 3, which will become a 2. I think we're done now. 10 is larger than 9. 11 is larger than 9. 11 is larger than 3. 2 is larger than nothing. 3 is larger than nothing. So now we're ready to subtract. This is the easy part. 10 minus 9 is 1. 11 minus 9 is 2. 11 minus 3 is 8. 2 minus nothing is 2. And 3 minus nothing is 3. So we get 32,821. So the important thing to the, the the only thing that makes this harder than just normal subtraction is that you have to know how to do the borrowing. And the way I do the borrowing it might be different than the way you learn in school, but I think it's easier because you do all of the borrowing at once instead of switching back and forth between borrowing and subtracting. So all we did here, we said the 0 is less than 9. Let's borrow 1. The 0 becomes a 10 because we got this 1 right here. And we got this 1 from this 2, and this 2 became a 1. I think you might see. Uh, the pattern if we do a couple more problems. So let's do a couple more. If I had, let's see, 25,633 minus 578. So same drill. We start at the top right. And we make sure that the digits on top are larger than the digit below it. Immediately, we see 3 is smaller than 8, so we have to borrow. So this 3 will become 13. And then we borrow from this 3, which will now become 2. Right? We took a 1 away from this 3, became 2, and this 1 is right here. 13 is now larger than 8, but 2 is now smaller than 7, so we have to borrow again. This 2 becomes a 12, and this 6 will become a 5. 13 is larger than 8, 12 is larger than 7. 5 is the same as 5, so you can actually do the subtraction, if, um, because 5 minus 5 is 0, if, 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 as long as the top number is not smaller than the number below it. And then obviously this 5 is larger than this 0, and this 2 is larger than this nothing here. So now we're ready to subtract. 13 minus 8 is 5. 12 minus 7 is 5. 5 minus 5 is 0. 
5 minus nothing is 5. And we have it bring down the 2. So the answer is 25,000. 25,055. 25, so let's do a problem now that I think will, will confuse you a little bit more, because the borrowing isn't as easy. You have to actually borrow from a couple of places. Let's say I had 37,000, 0, 0, and 2 minus, let's say I had 155. So it's the same drill. So this 2 is less than 5, so you have to borrow. So this 2 will become a 12. But huh, there's a 0 here, so you can't borrow from the 0. Some people will let you borrow from the 0, but I think that just confuses things, because you can't borrow from a 0. There's nothing there. So instead of borrowing from the 0, we look to this 0. Well, there's still nothing there. So now we look, oh, there's a 7 here. So what we do is, instead of borrowing a 1 from the 0, which is hard to do, we borrow 1 from the 700, from this whole 700. And what is 700 minus 1? Right, it's 699. So that 700 becomes 699. We could cross all of this out. And now let's check our numbers again. 12 is larger than 5. 9 is larger than 5. 9 is larger than 1. 6 is larger than nothing. And 3 is larger than nothing, so we're ready to subtract. 12 minus 5 is 7. 9 minus 5 is 4. 9 minus 1 is 8. 6 minus nothing is 6. 3 minus nothing is 3. So there, we're done. The answer is 36,847. I think we could have time for one more problem. Let's say I had. 3,201 3, minus, let's say it's 502. Same drill. 1 is less than 2, so we have to borrow. Turn that into an 11. But you can't borrow from a 0, so you're going to have to borrow from this entire 20. Well, what's 20 minus 1? Right. It's 19, so this becomes a 19. So let's check again. 11 is greater than 2, check. 9 is greater than 0, check. Uh-oh, 1 is not greater than 5, so you have to borrow again. This 1 becomes an 11. We borrowed from this 3, which becomes a 2. 11 is greater than 2, 9 is greater than 0. 11 is greater than 5, 2 is obviously greater than nothing below it. It's ready to subtract. 11 minus 2 is 9, 9 minus 0 is 9, 11 minus 5 is 6, and 2 minus nothing is 2. So 3,201 minus 502 is equal to 2,699. I think you're now ready to try some of the level 4 subtraction problems. You just always have to remember, do your borrowing first. Make sure all the numbers on top are, are larger than all the, or at least as large as all the numbers on the bottom. And then you can just do your subtraction like a normal subtraction problem. I hope you have some fun doing this. Talk to you later.